This is an ADS1115 analog to digital converter module. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use this in continuous mode and using an Arduino to read it. You may wonder why we need to connect an external ADC module to the Arduino, as the Arduino already has a 10-bit ADC uh, built in. So here I will demonstrate why. I have a simple setup here to uh, do an experiment of Faraday's induction law. This is a coil and here we have a resistor and we will measure the voltage across this resistor with the internal ADC. And if I swing the coil around the magnet, you'll see the induced electromotive force waveform. And you can find that the waveform is only positive and the shape is quite rough. So this is because the internal ADC only reads positive voltage and the resolution is only 10 bit. Whereas the ADS1115 module can read at 16 bit and read both positive and negative voltage. Using an external module, we can read more precise and also a bigger range of voltage. So if you are doing experiment, uh, for example, Faraday's induction law, Using an external ADC will uh, probably benefit you a lot. Let's take a closer look at the ADS1115 module. It has four analog inputs, which uh, supports differential reading. That, that means you can read the difference between, say, two pins A0 and A1 uh, straight through this IC. Uh, it uses I2C protocol to talk with other devices, such as the Arduino. It can take voltage of 2.0 to 5.5 volts uh, supply voltage. Uh, the voltage you are going to read uh, should not exceed the uh, supply voltage or it may damage the IC. Let's wire up the ADS1115 module to the Arduino. Now I have already uh, connected the coil and the resistor here across ground and A0. So we will then use A0 to measure the voltage across this resistor. So the first thing to do is to connect power. We connect VDD on the module to 5 volts on the Arduino. Next, we need to connect ground. Next, the, we need to connect the two wires for uh, the I square C protocol. So here we connect SCOS SDA on the module. Then we can use the I square C pins on the Arduino. Here is the I square C pins on the on the right here, SDA and ST, SCL. So here is the uh, most basic connection of uh, between the Arduino Uno and uh, ADS1115 module. So with this setup, we can now measure the voltage across this coil. The library that we are going to use with our ADS LM15 module is the Adafruit ADS1x15 library. Now it's called uh, the 1x15 library because there is another uh, analog to digital converter made by Texas Instrument called uh, the ADS1015. It is a 12-bit ADC, but it can read at a higher sampling rate of uh, 3000 plus compared to uh, the 16 bits at 860 hertz of the ADS1115. So this is the code that we're going to use. First, we need to include the library. Next, we will in, uh, create a, an object of class Adafruit ADS1115. And then we will create three more variables that we'll use and I will explain it later. Then in the setup code, we will first need to uh, initialize the serial port 
and here we have a baud rate of 115200. Next, we need to initialize the ADS 1115. Uh, and here, the Arduino will start the I square C interface and, and do the settings, etc. Next, we will set the gain before the uh, conversion, the analog to digital conversion. And here, we'll set it to four times because uh, the coil will not generate a very big voltage compared to the supply voltage. So we, we can amplify it a little bit so that we can get more resolution out of it. Next, we will set the data rate. And here we will just use the fastest, that is 860 samples per second. And uh, if you didn't do this, it will use the default data rate, which is 128 samples per second. Next, we will take an initial time reading and store it in T0. In a loop function, we will uh, first read in the ADC uh, in single-ended mode and through channel 0, which is the A0 pin on the uh, module itself. Next, we will read the time and deduct the, uh, the initial time T0 and put it into the string. Then we'll put a, a space after the time and then put the value that we just read into the string and then finally print it out through serial port. So now you're finished with this code, we can upload it to the Arduino. Open up serial monitor and you can see uh, we're having something being uh, flushed out from the Arduino. And here the first column is the time in milliseconds and the second column is the uh, converted result. And now I'm going to shake the coil and pause it here. As you can see, we are having both negative value of voltage and positive value of voltage. So we are already increasing the range uh, that we weren't able to do uh, with the internal ADC of the Arduino. And here, but here, if we look at the time difference between two adjacent uh, adjacent uh, readings, we can find that the time difference is around two to four milliseconds. That converts to around, uh, say, three hundred ish uh, hertz of sampling rate, which is quite far from uh, what we just said, which is eight hundred and sixty hertz. That's because we're reading the ADC with single-ended mode. So we need to use con continuous mode in order to read uh, at the rated speed of 860 hertz. In order to use the ADS1150 module in continuous mode, we need one more uh, connection between the Arduino and uh, the module. So here we will need to connect the uh, alert pin. Uh, to a pin that's capable of interrupt on the Arduino and here we will use pin 3. What the alert pin does is that uh, when the conversion is done on the IC it will send a pulse and then the Arduino will read through this interrupt pin. Uh, it will try to find a falling edge of the pulse and the Arduino will know the conversion is done and then it will read through I square C uh, to read the conversion result. And this way we can uh, use the full speed of the ADS 1115, and which is uh, 860 hertz. This is the code that we're going to use with our ADS 1115 in continuous mode. The first part is the same as uh, the last one. Uh, we will include a library, create an object and some variables. The next thing is we need to create an interrupt uh, service routine. And here we will use this function new data ready. And in this function it will set uh, the boolean variable new data from false to true. And in the setup code we need to attach the interrupt at pin 3 which is what we use uh, to connect the alert pin of 
the ADS 1150 module. And it will trigger the function of new data ready, and it will trigger at the falling edge of the pulse. So when the, uh, the interrupt pin detects a falling edge, it will trigger the new data ready function, and then it will set the new data Boolean variable to true. Also in the setup code, we need to tell the ADS1115 that we're going to start uh, the ADC reading in continuous mode, and also select the channel zero and not using differential. That is, we're going to use single zero. Again, we will read uh, the time and store in T naught, but here we will use microseconds instead of milliseconds. In the loop code, we will ch first check if there is new data. If there is not, we will return the loop and start again. If there is, we will get the last conversion result from the ADS 1115 and then uh, construct the string that we're going to print as what we just did with the last code. And finally, print it out into the serial port. Uh, the last thing we need to do is reset the new data variable to false. If you forget this step, uh, the code will always think that there's new data coming in, regardless of the interrupt. Now let's upload this to the Arduino. Let's open uh, the serial monitor. And if I start to shake the coil, you can see that there's both negative and positive, uh, negative and positive reading of voltage. And if we look at the time spacing between two adjacent uh, readings, we can see that the uh, time difference is a bit more than a thousand milliseconds. That is, that translates to somewhere close to 800 to 900 uh, samples per second. So uh, we have to use continuous mode in order to use the full 860 samples per second that the ADS-11 15 is capable of. So hopefully with this tutorial you have learned how to use the ADS 1115 module in continuous mode. Thank you for watching.